Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today, we're gonna to be building a really large family home in the craftsman style. And I ideally want it to be a single story home. There will be a second story, but I'm not really gonna use it. So I am building this house for my let's play. I don't think we're gonna be moving into this house soon because we don't have nearly enough money. But one of the problems we're sort of running into in our current let's play house is that most of the lots in San Sequoia are 20 by 30 which is fine if you have like a couple of Sims, you know, three, four Sims, but we're pushing like eight Sims full house. We're having a couple of stay over guests as well. So we need a guest room. And to be honest, I kind of think it's a little bit of an oversight that most of the lots in a pack for families and growing together are 30 by 20, because it means you really don't have a lot of space to grow together. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Anyway, let's not talk about that. There are a few bigger lots, there's like, I guess like th there's three big lots, like really big lots. This one here is in the sort of suburban neighborhood. So I removed the existing house. And one of my goals for this is, like I said, I want it to be mostly single story. I want this to everyone to sort of fit in one level, mainly because there's not really a lot of large single story family homes in The Sims. Uh, I don't. I, I'm just claiming that. I don't know if that's true. But for me personally, usually when I do a big house, it's multiple levels and that's fine. But I, I do find, especially when we have like eight eight Sims plus stay over guests, I'm going to I'm gonna lose them. I won't know where they are. So I kind of like the idea of it all being on one level so that we can sort of see where everyone's hanging out. However, as I sort of alluded to earlier, there will actually be a second story. I didn't originally plan to do that, but one of the things that I really want to do in my Let's Play series is build a real tree house in our backyard. So, you know, out of actual walls and floors so we can go inside and do stuff inside of there. Now, the second thing I want to do with that is actually be able to like walk from the treehouse to our house. So like we'd go across like a little uh, bridge or something and then you could like climb in the balcony upstairs, maybe even just through one of those opening windows. I thought that would be really fun. And the only way we can really do that without it looking completely ridiculous is actually having some sort of second story on the house. So that's where that comes in. But as you can see, the house is actually pretty big. Now I pretty much just Googled, I think large cra craftsman home or like large family craftsman home. And I found one that had a facade that kind of looked along the lines of this. So a lot of the facade is sort of inspired by that house. Then the rest of it, you know, I've kind of just made up. I think some of the interior I took notes from there, but then it also changes because I end up needing way more bedrooms than the house I was taking inspiration from because we currently have four kids. Ideally, I want each of them to have one bedroom. Obviously the parents, so they've got a bedroom. Then we're having people stay over. So we need at least one guest room. I'm also planning on having more kids. So we need more bedrooms. And then also with that many bedrooms, you kind of need more than one living room. So essentially we need a lot of rooms, like a lot of rooms. So that's sort of where the need for this house came in. Um, just because the family is so big, we need, we need the space. <laughs> we need the space. And I'm actually pretty excited by the kind of scale of this house. Now, obviously the scale means it's gonna be expensive. It is not fully furnished. I will be posting this on the gallery. So if you wanna download it, I'll link it down below. Otherwise you can go to my gallery ID, which is uh, James Turner YT. Uh, and you can find it there. So I've essentially furnished the kitchen, the living area, um, the bath, well, some of the bathrooms and the guest room. The rest of the stuff isn't furnished. Oh, and the main bedroom I also furnished. So the rest of the stuff is not furnished because number one, I don't have that much money in my Let's Play. Number two, um, most of those rooms that I will be furnishing later on will be for the kids when they're older. Cause obviously we're not gonna be able to buy this anytime soon. So I didn't feel like there was really any point doing that. Cause well, yeah, anyway. So there's like five bedrooms or something that are just empty. So, you know, I think in a way this could actually be a really good house for you guys to download and play with because it has like the essential stuff, the kitchen, bathrooms, a living room, etc. But then it has all the empty space for you to fill out and, and you know, and um, move into, which I'm pretty excited about. I do have the upstairs, like I said, that is also empty. Like I've got rooms up there kind of, but they're, they're also empty. Um, oh yeah, so actually the kitchen and living area, again, is inspired from that house. I, I'm gonna see if I can find the house I, I used. Uh, um, and if I can, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. It's obviously different because whenever you try to convert a Sims build 
Uh, oh no, sorry, a real build into a Sims build. It just isn't gonna work. Um, but I took inspiration from it because obviously I'm not fully, um, you know, well-versed on craftsman homes, interiors or exteriors. So using some sort of source as inspiration is really helpful. I did initially sort of look around the world because I do find if I'm trying to build a house in the matching style to the world that I'm in, in the Sims, looking at the houses that they have, you know, the fake houses, using those as reference is really good too. However, most of them were tiny, like two-story houses. It didn't really work. I was like, I don't know how to scale this up too well. So that's where that sort of inspiration came in. Um, we also have massive kitchen, like just a colossal kitchen, as you can see. I think I did scale it down a little bit um, just because the, the island is just so big. Um, and I do need to put a dining table. Again, if we're having, I think I actually need a bigger dining table, to be honest, because if we're having uh, at least eight Sims living in my house, Plus, potentially, I don't know how many guests, you could have huge stay over guests. Like, in theory, couldn't you then have eight stay over guests? If you have a household of eight Sims and had them stay over, couldn't you then have potentially 16 Sims in your house? Um, but there's no table that big, so you'd have to have multiple tables. Anyway, we've got, we got an eight-seater table at least, so that's definitely necessary. Um, yeah, so the kitchen and living area is this one big space, but it is divided. You can see we have that spandrel going in the middle, and out the back we have that nice lattice work spandrels, which I thought was quite nice. I don't know how exactly I'm going to be furnishing the outside, how I'm going to be decorating it entirely, because I have not done that. Like I said, this house is pretty bare bones, because I need it to be big, and I need to be able to afford to move into it relatively soon. We already have seven Sims in the household, so I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to fit on that smaller lot. So this is for the future, the, the near future. However, this house does cost, uh, even with the minimal furnishings, like 90 something thousand dollars, maybe a hundred thousand simoleons. So we've got to make sure we can earn that much money and actually afford to pay the bills when we move in here too. So. You know, it's not cheap. Uh, I might even cheapen it down a bit more by removing some furniture because obviously we have furniture in our current house, which we could bring potentially. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll figure that out. That, we'll figure that out in coming episodes of the Let's Play. Yeah, this is not a next episode move, that's for sure. <laughs> We're not ready for this, but the house will be. So uh, yeah, just like I said, I pretty much decided to do the living area. As you can see, I'm sort of putting stuff in. Obviously still like a sort of generic furnishing. When we move in with our Let's Play, we'll do a bunch of, you know, family photos, all that kind of stuff, fill it out, make sure it feels more like our family. And I think, like I said earlier, having a lot of the rooms blank, while it may seem kind of almost daunting because there's so much still to furnish, I think that'll be good for, for me when we move in to be able to customize to the Sims that we're moving in at that time. And likewise, if you guys download it too, I think it'll be really good for that. Um, so we've got a little bathroom there, just off the kitchen, which I will admit is a little strange that the door opens literally into the kitchen. Um, however, the floor plan that I was basing this house off of, that is like, that's actually a pantry, I believe, which makes a lot more sense, but it's The Sims. Pantries make no sense. There's no use for it. So I was like, let's just, let's just make a bathroom, especially talking about big houses, especially single story houses. Having only a bathroom on one end of the house, that's going to be a nightmare. We need bathrooms everywhere. Uh, oh, and we got to make sure we have the mod where Sims will use the closest sink. Because if, again, if you have a big house and you have bathrooms everywhere, they're going to be using the sink on the other side of the house, and that's a problem. So there are, thankfully, mods <laughs> to help with that issue. So there's a lot in this uh, build that I also kind of cut out for the sake of brevity. This is a shorter build video, but Honestly, there was a lot of me messing around, especially with the roof, when it came to trying to fit in a second level, because the roof is a bit of an odd angle. It's not it's not an angle that snaps, and it's not an angle that lines up with the wall height perfectly. So I did a lot of messing around, like eight, maybe, I don't know, hour and a half to two hours of me just doing roof stuff, which was all cut out. <laughs> I don't even know if we see when I put the second story on. I don't know if I recorded that, but anyway. Here's the main bedroom. Uh, I did I did pretty much fully furnish the main bedroom. Obviously, it's it's I, I think it's quite nice. I'm, I try to use a lot of the growing together stuff in this house, and, and as makes sense, that was the idea. Um, and yes, yeah, so actually the main bedroom, and I mean, not exactly, but the bathroom and the, the, the uh, walk-in wardrobe are based off the floor plan that I was taking inspiration from. So it's a really big bathroom. Well, this main bedroom potentially i don't know if you added the bathroom and the wardrobe together if it'd be more floor space than the bedroom itself 
But there you go. <laughs> it's nice and spacious. There's also a ginormous laundry room in this house, which we are using laundry in my Let's Play. So I was like, yeah, let's, let's have a big laundry room. It, it's like really big. I, I might need to actually scale it down potentially. But for now, we got a big one. <laughs> we, got, we got a big one. Uh, you'll see it in just a moment. But yeah, here's the wardrobe. I was originally going to use those clothing racks only because I don't really like those Dream Home decorator ones because when the walls go down, you don't see them. And I really just want to see clothes hanging. I also wish we just had a blank hanging bar that didn't have the empty boxes above it. But there's not really, we don't really have an option for that either. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I did my best. <laughs> I did my best. Uh, but no, I, th I think it looks really good. And we'll have a little closer look at everything that I have done in just a moment. We'll load up into the game and have a look at it all. I am pretty proud of it. So this door here as well is the side door from the laundry, which is massive, like I said. Uh, I do attach an actual toilet to this area as well. So it is it doubles up as a bathroom. But as you can see, the laundry is just really, really big, which I kind of like. I, I really wish I had the luxury of a laundry I say a laundry that big in real life, a laundry at all. We have a laundry here is just in the hallway. Like it's not a room. <laughs> so it's like having a laundry like that. Oh, that's like, that's the dream. And you know, you are getting older when having a laundry room is a dream. But man, that would be amazing. And having that much like linen storage and oh, oh, it'd be good. I, man, this is, this is almost a dream home. Uh, <laughs> now this is a little guest room here, which I using. I'm using the Murphy bed, so obviously we can use it as, a, like I said, a second living room is important. That does mean when the guests are here, we will not have a second living room. But that's okay. We have the potential of accidentally killing people with it, so you know, kind of evens out. <laughs> um, no, I had a lot of fun with this little room. This room is quite detailed as well, just in terms of the little decorations, because especially if it's like a guest room. I felt like it should have stuff in there. We do have a microphone and a guitar because one of our Sims in the Let's Play is in the entertainment career. So they have to do a lot of comedy stuff and, and they want to play the guitar as well. So that's also, that room doubles for that when we don't have guests. But that's all for the time lapse. Let's go ahead and jump into the actual game. And I'll give you an overview. There's a few more things that I've done since this recording as well. So we'll have a look at all that. All right, here we are in the game. So as you can see, I've just basically added a little like min essentially like really minimal landscaping uh, because again, I, this is something, well, I, number one, I didn't want to spend too much money because I want my family to be able to afford this house relatively soon, like I said. However, it is still 98,000 simoleons. It isn't cheap uh, by any means. At least not cheap in terms of the amount of money my Sims have, which is not a lot. <laughs> so this is the house. Oh, actually, you know what? I can make it cheaper by getting rid of the tree house. We actually don't need that if I'm going to build a tree house. So I'm just going to put a fake tree. Well, pff, not a fake tree, a real tree. <laughs> it now is 97. Let's go. So yeah, I, I think this looks awesome. You know what's funny as well? If you guys saw uh, Deligracy's recent house build for her Let's Play, it's like the same color scheme. Now, I just need to put this out here. I started building this before Delhi started building her one. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, it was just funny because we both built houses for our Let's Plays and we both sort of landed around the same kind of color scheme. But obviously our houses are very different. And also my the style of this house is super different too. Anyway, yeah, so we got like a little drive because we have this like driveway thing here. So, so I thought I'd put a little drive in there. I also, I realize as well, it's it doesn't line up. I'll, I'll fix that, don't worry. <laughs> I think originally I had the lot shifted to the right and I moved it over. So it used to line up here, but anyway. Yeah, so we just got some basic shrubs, nice matching post box from Seasons. Well, kind of matching, the stone is different, but you know, it does a trick. Uh, out the side, I did actually do this fence here, which is matching fence to what you see around the neighborhood. I was like, let's use that um, just so it sort of blends in. Also because we have like a public footpath here. I was like, let's just have like a little bit of a fence there so people don't just like wander in because that's where our clothesline is as well for the laundry, which I know this is very blank. It'll change. I think this is like a, a let's play evolution house. Also, speaking of which, there's a missing wall. That, hey, that whole wall there is wrong. There you go. <laughs> so is that wall. I can, I can, I see you there. There we go. All right. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty stoked about this. I think it looks awesome. We got a lot of big trees around the house. I think we'll probably end up probably removing some of them. But for now, like when we're playing in the game, and because we currently live over here. I just wanted to blend in. I didn't want it to be a big blank piece of grass in a blank house with no landscaping. So at the moment you can see it, it just sort of blends in with the surrounding neighborhood, which is great is exactly what I want. Um, I will just move these out of the way so we can see the house a little bit better. We have a huge back porch, which I think is gonna be fantastic. I'm actually really excited for this space. 
We got to use that. Have barbecues outdoor area there. We can have some sweet parties and all that. And then we have a huge backyard. We might add a pool or something at some point, maybe. Uh, or, you know, a lot of the outdoor activities that we can do. So moving to the house. Yeah, so we have the whole upstairs, which, as you saw, wasn't in the, the time lapse. The idea that I've come to land on is we're going to build a treehouse around here somewhere. And then we can have like a little bridge uh, or like planks, a little walkway here. And then we'll have to do like a window or something or a little balcony. Um, it'll join to the upstairs around about this point. Actually, there's also missing trim. Man, there's a lot of a lot of stuff missing here. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, so that that's how that'll work. That's my plan. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. Now the upstairs, I'll show you, like I said, is just empty. There's not even a door to this space. Uh, but I, I think it's good because it, it gives us the ability to, well, expand and grow together. <laughs> Could actually be a good like guest area. Like, because like I said, when, I, when I'm playing, I want to see all my Sims or, or be able to like, so we don't have to go up and down, up and down. I think maybe if we turn this into like a guest suite area, like we could even what we could do is potentially do a door and lock it for my household. So only guests can go up here. Then we could lock the other rooms to only allow my household in. So then the guests basically have to use this space up here. So that could actually work potentially quite well. That's my plan with that space anyway. So yeah, downstairs, let's have a look. I'm pretty keen with this area. I love this sort of living space. I did change this massively with the stairs. Now, you might know in my Let's Play, I've been mentioning how I want Uncle Rye, who is the, obviously, uncle to the kids. Uh, I want him to live in an alcove, <laughs> like, like in Full House. And that's kind of what I built here. It's like a little space underneath the stairs. Hang on, sorry. So, the, which is kind of funny because we've just built a huge new house and it's going under the stairs. I don't think you'll actually live there. Um, I just wanted to build it because I thought it was cool. Well, <laughs> I think it's a fun idea. Then we've got like a little wardrobe in there, a little suitcase. Uh, it, it might be for someone else. I don't know if it'll be... Because by the time we move to this house, I think we have enough money for Rye to have their own bedroom. But it was a fun idea to put that there. Also, I have this weird one by three space. I actually wasn't sure what to do with because it's kind of awkward. Uh, so if you have any ideas of what I could do with that, please let me know. Because it doesn't really line up. The problem is it didn't really line up with where the stairs are. Because if I move the stairs further back, my alcove has to be smaller. So that's why it's there. <laughs> Oh, actually, you know what? How about this? I got an idea. This could actually be really cool. Hang on. Hey, check this out. Okay. So if I do this and actually make it part of the staircase, check this out. So we still have the L-shaped staircase, but now it's actually a platform. We can actually use this space. I don't know what for, but it's like a, we can have like a little landing there because Sims can walk. Obviously, they can walk up to this height and there is no... Oh, there is a ceiling, but I could open this up here. Hang on. There we go. Open it up above. Get that column back there as well. Get the fence railing there. Oh, this, this is actually cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm stoked about this. So then we have like a little nook that we can use. Uh, oh, uh, whoa. <laughs> Okay, problem is I can't really wall that. Okay, we can use this kind of wall so it sort of blends in a bit better. Or even stone. Problem is it doesn't really match, but it's got potential. And just put the TV back there. Yeah, uh, anyway, that, I, th I like that idea. Because then, yeah, that's a usable platform space. Whether it's just we end up using it for storage or whatever, we can definitely put something there, which is cool. It's more usable. All right, so that's that. We've got the little alcove. We've got the main bedroom over here. Uh, just there. We've also got the huge ensuite bathroom, double sink, a huge shower, separate toilet, and the walk-in wardrobe is back over here. Then over this side is the laundry, as you saw, with the little bathroom attached here at the end of the hallway. And then we've got the guest room in here, which is currently like a second sitting room. A couple of instruments, the mi well, one instrument, the microphone, rocking chair, very nice. And then the huge kitchen over this side, which I actually really, really like. Nice big dining table. Hey, my rug is gone from under that, but that's okay. <laughs> and then we've got the little bathroom there attached to the kitchen. So we've got, at least at the moment, three functioning bathrooms. There is a space for one over here as well, which I haven't actually built yet. We also have a garage space where we've got like a little sort of SUV for the family, woodworking table, bookcase, you know, just sort of garage stuff. And then, like I said, we've got five bedrooms completely empty over here that are ready to be used ready to be moved into, which I'm pretty stoked about. Like that's gonna be so good. That whole space is gonna be amazing. And of course you can always easily add a basement too, which is pretty cool. But that is the home. Seven Eucalyptus Lane, which I guess is the original name. I'll call it Large Craftsman Home. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna leave this here. Like I said, this will be up in the gallery, so check the link in the description down below if you're interested in downloading this and potentially moving in and, and completing it as well. Uh, but I'm really excited to get to this in the Let's Play. Hopefully it won't be too long. Probably be still a number of episodes away. But um, until then, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.